Hey guys, this is Dan from MMORPGtips.com and MMOcult.com. I finally got the Warrior 260 after doing a ton of herb picking and mining. So now we can see how fast we can get this guy to run. But first, the intro. I just dinged level 60, but I have um, most of the gear I need for a speed set. Some of them uh, can be upgraded uh, a little bit, but not much really, so uh, building a speed set uh, this expansion isn't uh, too much work. First we can have a quick look at the talents. War Machine gives 30% uh, movement speed after killing an enemy, but it only works um, on mobs that uh, give honor or XP and I really wish it would say so in the tooltip but it doesn't for some reason even though it says that on other items and um, skills so uh, it's pretty much useless for old uh, content farming which is what I use the speed set for mostly and the soul binds in uh, Shadowlands also don't work on uh, this type of content. But we do have double time which gives an extra charge of charge. Which doesn't really seem like a big deal but when you combine that with bounding stride and the new um, legendary with the jumper on it uh, you can just spam charge and um, heroic leap which is uh, pretty good and also a lot of fun. But those are the two important talents, uh, Double Time and Bounding Stride. So let's uh, move on to the gear. For the neck you want the Heart of Azeroth. If you have the time and energy, unlike me, you can go ahead and try to get the Ripple in Space uh, power to uh, rank 2 through the achievement. And that will give you a minor speed boost. But for me that just uh, wasn't worth the hassle. For the head, shoulders and chest you want to get some Azerite gear. With the long strider on it. Try to get the gear with the 7% uh, speed on it. The Najatar uh, gear is really easy to get but it only has uh, 6%. But gear from uh, world quests and emissary quests are uh, level uh, 85 and uh, 100 and they have the 7% speed. I just got the chest today from doing uh, an emissary quest so uh, that's pretty, uh, pretty easy to get. For the wrist just get whatever you can with speed on it or with a socket. I got a bracer from Wrath of the Jailer which had uh, 25 speed on it, so that's what I'm using. Obviously you want the root blade of Baron River there for uh, one of your weapons with uh, Wind Walk on it. And for the other one I just got a cheap item level 50 uh, weapon to put my 5% um, movement speed the Straddling Sage uh, Agate uh, gem in it. And then I enchanted it with the versatile navigation just because um, that's what I'm stacking for long strider. The only reason I picked that was because it was uh, naturally the highest one I had. Mostly because one of the rings that I bought which had a uh, high versatility but we'll get to that in a second. For the uh, hands I have Decim's Fistos which should be uh, pretty cheap on the auction house. I bought them for like 30k, I think they're around like 30-40k. And they always have 37 speed so those are really good to get. For the waist that's where we're gonna put our uh, legendary so that we can get the leaper. When I dinged 60 I spent like a day or two getting uh, to item level 185. And that was uh, pretty much uh, enough to get me uh, through a Torghast to get the, the legendary. And just remember to put the versatility or whatever uh, stat you're stacking for a uh, long strider in there as well. On the legs you can put whatever you want uh, with the speed or a socket or both. I got a decent one on the auction house but I'm gonna try to look for something a bit better. This has uh, 21 speed. 
I'm not gonna be farming the maw to get the sockets for all the gear because there is uh, diminishing returns on speed so um, I don't think that's gonna be worth the investment just to get the 13 extra speed from the Shadowlands gems. For the boots I just got some random um, level 50 uh, boots from the auction house and I put the 3% movement speed uh, gem on it along with a uh, 10% uh, movement speed enchant. Just uh, be wary when you buy the enchant, there is a couple of different versions. And uh, f at first I bought one of the ones with stats plus movement speed and it didn't work so I just had to get the one with just the movement speed on it. The first ring is just a random crafted ring with a socket to put the Shadowlands gem to get the 13% movement speed uh, for every uh, uh, gem you have socketed. And then I have the Ardent Sunstar Signet which I bought for like 50k or something like that and it had 29 speed and it also has very high versatility with the, which made the versatility my highest uh, secondary stat. So I just enchanted it with uh, even more uh, versatility as well. For the trinkets I don't really have anything yet. I'm waiting for someone to maybe post a Hopebreakers badge on the auction house with speed on it. That is what I have on my hunter and it has like 16 speed and I paid like 100 gold for it. There's also a bunch of other random um, trinkets that are can be sold on the auction house which can have speed so uh, you can just uh, go and have a look and see if you find anything. And there's the humming black uh, dragon scale from um, Rathian in uh, Nilotha as well. So uh, let's take a look at the actual run speed percentages. I am of course using the uh, fried bone fish as well from for a uh, little extra bonus. My base speed is around 160. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that uh, much higher because of the diminishing returns on the speed stat. But I could probably push it to around 170 with uh, some better gear. But it goes way up after uh, attacking some mobs. Especially when I use uh, Heroic Leap because of the Bounding Stride the talent, I go up to like 250. And even more than that, up to like 344 during a charge. But uh, other than that, it's mostly at like 172 to 182. So even if my hunter has a higher base movement speed, the warrior is actually faster because he gains a bunch of uh, speed from using skills and uh, attacking enemies while the hunter use, uh, loses some speed from uh, being in combat. On the hunter I also have to use a macro to target the nearest mob and multi-shot and it just doesn't work as well as uh, just being able to whirlwind all, all the time. So I had to, uh, I did the same run with my hunter and I, ha I had to stop a lot more and I got stunned a bit. So the run just wasn't as smooth. Uh, I'm gonna try to make a comparison video and put them next to each other in the next video just so that you can see the difference between the two. And now that I finished uh, leveling the warrior, I'm gonna start leveling my uh, druid again. So that I can do a real comparison uh, between all three classes, uh, because they have all been um, like the, the fastest uh, classes during the last couple of expansions. I really didn't think the warrior was gonna be that uh, this fast, uh, that's why I leveled my hunter instead at the start of the expansion because I thought he was gonna be faster, but for this type of content, for farming all the content, it looks like the, the warrior is actually faster. At the end there you can see I used the soul shape uh, signature ability from the Night Fae, which is pretty much the reason why I picked them for both my characters. It gives a nice little boost that you can use uh, between the charges and leaps. But that's uh, pretty much it for today. I'm gonna do a comparison video with the hunter and I will have that up soon. So uh, if you enjoy the content please uh, subscribe, it really means a lot, or leave a comment or a like on the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!